In this video, I'm going to give you a really simple little spacing concept you can use out of the gun bunch to uh, just get consistent yardage against pretty much any defense. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Make sure you turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of the videos that we do. We release new videos every single day here on YouTube. And I'm actually really excited to share this with you because um, I, I just want to talk for just a moment about offense and gun bunch in general and why gun bunch is so good now if you've not gotten my bunch guide yet i would encourage you to do that there's a link in the description if you want to get um my gun bunch guide it actually covers every bunch like every major bunch concept in the game so it's not just out of carolina we cover concepts from carolina seattle uh, miami washington indianapolis all the major bunches we cover that in the guide so you get access to all of that just for one purchase for one bunch you get all of them so if you want to learn how to run bunch that's the best thing that I can do for you. It's 15 bucks. There's a link in the description. Um, let me know if you guys have gotten the guide, what you think of it. Uh, we're going to continue to update that as well throughout the course of the season. But one of the things about Bunch that I wanted to talk about real quick is what really is good about Bunch. And I've, I've kind of, this is probably the best Bunch has ever been. I wouldn't say, uh, I, I would say that Z Spot, like since Z Spot. Uh, was in the game because when z-spot was in the game this thing was so incredibly powerful and it still is really powerful um, and there are some ways that we can get it what i like about carolina is you come over to this formation here bunch strong and you've got z-spot but anyway that but, but the other thing i want to talk about is the idea is this is what's so good about gun bunch look at the play double put look at the plays on my screen we've got a basically a gun bunch stretch run We've got PA dig fork with an S post, a corner route, and a dig, and a and a blue uh, little hitch. We've got this double post play that has a crosser, a C route, one of the best running back routes in the game, and in my opinion, by far the best flat route in the game. This is why Gun Bunch is good. Every page that I'm going to turn through, there's a money play. Smash return, spacing switch, inside zone, all three very good plays. Going to mesh spot, mesh spot, great play. Flood, great play. Curl flat, we're going to get to that in a minute. Very good play. Uh, dig return is a good play this year z spot and go z spot all three of these are good plays every single play in gun bunch is good and most of the plays in gun bunch can be really elite without a lot of adjustments you only really need like maybe one two hot routes to make pl most plays go well and that's what makes gun bunch in my opinion so very powerful so that being said we're going to go into um this play here, curl flat. And this is just a great play. You know, one of the things that I think is important about Gun Bunch, if you want to be good, is these, this this kind of thing that I call uh, constraint theory plays. And what constraint theory plays are is they're basically plays that you intentionally work into your playbook. They're not necessarily big plays. They're just designed to be something that, you know, kind of throws it something at the defense that they have to think about. So with this, there's a very it's only one adjustment. All we're going to do is we're going to hitch the R1 receiver. And then that's literally all we're going to do. And we're just going to snap the ball and go. And what you're going to see is we're going to get this high-low read. This, um, this one, the one thing I would tell you about this is you can, you can um, just motion out the the curl. So, for example, uh, or I'll show you. So I just do this. Like just motion this guy just a little bit, just to get a little bit better spacing. But you'll see that the purples and the light blue zones, like the curl flats and the and the and the hard flats. They're going to get sucked out more this year than they were last year. Last year, they didn't get sucked out this bad. Uh, this year, they do. They get really, really manipulated this year. And I'll show you what it looks like. So, again, we'll just do this. And then I'll just put my user in the middle of the field. And I just want you to watch. So, again, we're just going to motion this guy, like, like literally, like, one or two steps. Just like that. And then snap it. And watch this curl flat zone. The curl flat zone does play it, but it doesn't really stop it. As you see, it stays on the outside hip. If I've got Gunslinger, I can low pass it right in there for an easy read. Now, the other reason why this is so good is because a lot of people are running this right now. They're running this uh, Tampa 2 kind of Mabel coverage um, against Gun Bunch. It's one of the more effective coverage defenses. Well, if you run this concept with that little baby motion, you've got the hitch right there that is wide open. And so you're gonna force them to have to put some adjustments on their field. One of the adjustments that they're gonna have to put on their field is they're gonna have to put a vertical hook zone. So uh, for example, they might look something like this. Well now, and this is where this gets so fun, now look at the left side. Oh, they've gotta put a vertical hook over there as well. And that's why Bunch is so good. And that's why this play is so good is because 
they just can't get to everything. They just can't get to everything, man. It's really difficult for them to stop uh, for for them to stop for a defense to stop everything you can do from this. Because what I really like about this offense, if you actually think about it, they have to Mabel on both sides and they have to have underneath yellows on both sides. Um, you know, for example, another little trick we could do is we could run this. We could do a drag to R1 and an in route to triangle, and you'll see that how this works, look at this little release route. Now the vertical hook can't cover it. Now they gotta drop a spy. Now they gotta do this and this and this and this. And that's what makes this so good because you could go, you could force them to run a defense where they're playing heavy cover two and they're having to play something like to this effect almost. I mean, vertical hook uh, with a soft squat maybe. You know, this might be their best shot, but I mean, even this, just high ball this and look at that. I mean, easy dot. So curl flat is so good, and it beats everything. It beats every every zone in the game. This will beat it. And the cool part about this is it's one hot route. It's literally one adjustment and a motion, and we're out, and we're going to just laser people. And right there, that was a bad uh, pass lead. I should have passed. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to what I was doing there. Uh, but let me show you. This is match coverage, and you're going to have just as much success against match as you have against anything else. Um, you're just going to low ball this, and as you see, there's that 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 curl on the left. Match defense, generally speaking, is not going to be very effective against curl routes. The other thing that you have on this is if you look over here on this right side, again, you just wait on that curl, and right there, Murray threw the ball into the dirt, but it's wide open. And then um, the next thing I want to show you is this. This is a little uh, cover zero kind of heavy underneath man-to-man -man coverage. And these curls this year just cook, man. These every curl is open. Every curl will be open against man. And then the other thing that I wanted to go over really quickly, another way you could run this too, don't be afraid to curl Hopkins. And the reason I say that is because what what'll happen is now you'll have all this space where you can playmaker James Conner. So for example, that that original thing that I was telling you about where they're going to have to do essentially something to this extent right here, right? Well, now watch what happens to James Conner. So, you know, I run a curl and I run the I run the curl now and I watch this. Now I'm going to playmaker, just flick my joystick to the right and it's going to direct, bring this guy back across the, for, the formation. So this is such a good concept. There's so many things that we could do to break this down even more for you, but this is such a good offense. It really is. And again, the thing that is so makes it so special is you don't have to make a lot of adjustments. You just come out and play. Like just come out and throw dots. That's all you're doing. And this curl flat play is one of my favorites because what it does is it forces your opponent. They can't just run what they normally would run. They can't just come out and run Mabel. It ain't going to work. I can throw every route on the field. Every route on the field. Um, so that's why I like this so much. What you're going to really do if you think about it, you're going to force their opponent to use her, and he's going to have to go guard R1 on the curl. Well, again, if we think this out a little bit, well, what's going to happen? This is max coverage, by the way. Okay, now I can playmaker this guy back over the middle, and as you see, I've got plenty of time to do that because... It's max, or, um, it's max coverage. But what if they blitz me? All right. So let's say they blitz you and they put a, um, you know, and they, like, let's say they, they blitz you and they put hard flats on the field. Okay. Well, now you can't throw your quick route to your tight end, but you can throw this and you can get up field. And as you can see, this is an easy read. The other thing that you can do, and the way Madden works this year uh, certainly is true, because you know they're going to have to go guard one of these curls. And they're probably going to go to the bunch side. You can just throw this. Pass lead that inside. and But, I mean, the pressure can't get there in time. So these are all little ways that you can just manipulate coverages. And what I love about this curl flat play, like I said before, it's one hot route. It's literally one hot route. Just snap it. You don't even have to motion. Look at these curls. And right there I, I should have motioned. But you see what I'm saying? So... That's that's what I was going to hit on. Um, and you can do a lot with this play. You could do some more. You could do a slant. Um, and the reason I would tell you you could do this slant is because this is really good for the blitz. Because that makes that ghost route so much better. But, man, curl flat. All you got to do is just snap it. Um, or put put R1 on a, a anything, really. 
Uh, I like to curl him just because I like having I like having these two curls. I think this is a really good and effective way to beat most of the meta defenses that you're going to face. And this is just going to be something, give them something else to think about from Gun Bunch. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get my full uh, Gun Bunch offense, learn all of the bombs and the beaters and how to just absolutely obliterate every defense in the game, there's a link in the description. You can get the full Gun Bunch offense for just $15. And just a quick reminder, we're going to update this over the time. So as patches are going to come out, we're going to update it. And also, um, this is for every single gun bunch offense in the game so it's not just for carolina bunch but it's carolina seattle washington indianapolis and on and on and on so if you want to get my bunch offense there's a link in the description